Denise Villeneuve's Arrival is a spectacular sci-fi that will go down as one of the best interpretations of aliens coming down to Earth. That is because Arrival doesn't pander down to his audience by shoving the idea that violence will equal spectacle. Because the movie Spectacle is this. It is a character speaking to the aliens. It isn't a big action set piece where things go flying and people start shooting aimlessly. Arrival is a beautiful movie about language not violence. And I think in today's climate, a world where violence seems to be the way we all try and put across our ideas should be seen. Resolving issues by words seems to be the secondary option when dealing with a crisis. I am your president of law and order. Violence against words appears to be a scary dystopia we all live in. The idea that we cannot understand the arguments that are put towards us, so instead we go with our fighting instincts of survival to crush what seems to be our enemy without understanding why we do it. An arrival challenges that idea. Things we do not understand does not automatically mean they are our enemy that must be destroyed. There are always two sides of the story and both must be heard. That is what arrival shows us through the actions of our characters and settings it revolves around. Unknown aliens come down to earth and what happens is mass media starts fear mongering telling people to be afraid of the unknown. Yes, scepticism is allowed, but the intent of which is shown, not only in the movie but in real life, is a danger to keeping peace. Constant ramblings of one side is the violent one or the other side is the violent one spins a cycle of distrust from both parties. It takes listening, learning and understanding to break that cycle. And through the characters of Louise, we see that fight for language and the power our words have. She believes in that idea of not fearing what we do not understand and instead learning what it is we do not understand. And she does this with her words and her resolve to learn and understand the alien's foreign language. The aliens or heptopods as they are called in the movie seem scary and when Louise translates a sentence of one of the heptopods to offer weapons. The army and military in charge jump to conclusions. They do not break down the scenario they are in and instead jump to the idea that these heptopods are claiming war against them. Because they do not understand, they force an agenda on the heptopods that they must be a threat. It is that human instinct of survival, to protect ourselves from the enemy. And it is created through a fear of not wanting to be taken over. Look back at history. Wars are a huge part of human civilization, so it's no surprise we are wired to think that someone who is different from us is our enemy, because back then it was true. But it shouldn't be the case now. War against each other, against different beliefs and against different races shouldn't be anymore. However, it is, and that's the scary thing. In a different world, we shouldn't be at war with each other, there isn't any point. We can trade with different countries instead of fighting them for their resources and no country in theory should be allowed to conquer another country. So the idea of war and violence is unnecessary. We shouldn't be fighting each other, we should be protecting one another. An arrival shows that because after the heptopods say off a weapon, Louise tries to understand what that means and breaks down the many different interpretations of that statement. We don't know if they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Is weapon meant to mean tools? And if that is the case, are they here to help us not eliminate the human race? At first, the generals do not understand where she is coming from, but through her knowledge and teachings, she convinces them and teaches them that she needs more time to interpret what was said. Even Louise herself does not use violence to force someone to see her side. She uses the human language. Compare that to the military men who become brainwashed by the media hysteria that claims violence against the unknown heptopods. They want to blow up the alien ship and kill the heptopods because they and their families are scared. Honey, it's not gonna happen. Instead of trying to understand the unknown, they use violence as their reasoning. And it is shown not to work, because violence should never be the way to resolve a conflict. As intelligent species we are, the most intelligent technically in the whole galaxy, we have the power to use words to communicate very complex sentences and ideas, and we have the brains to understand those ideas. Just like Louise, reasoning, debating and resolving problems comes down to communication and learning beliefs we do not understand. Not forcing someone, but teaching someone. That is what Arrival is all about. The heptopods even follow that belief. 
They want to pass down their language to the humans because it is a tool of great power and teaching the language to the humans would be beneficial to themselves in the distant future. The heptopods didn't use violence or force their language onto the humans, they essentially taught Louise their language. Even when one of their own was killed during the blast, the heptopods didn't react with violent retaliation, a clear statement from the movie advocating a peaceful way of resolving issues. Instead, the heptopods sought after Louise because they knew she would speak to them, not shoot at them. It is as the movie states, If all I ever gave you was a hammer, everything's a nail. We are programmed to be fearful of a foreign entity because of the countless wars that the human race has been through. But because someone looks different or speaks funny does not mean they are our enemy. It is our obligation to learn about other beliefs and cultures, otherwise we stagnate and become scared of change. Our rival understands that. They literally use an alien to alienate the characters and make them fearful. But you can swap the alien with anything else, a religion or a movement, and the movie still has the same story. Mass media hysteria and a divided nation scared of the unknown. We live in an age where if someone has an opposite belief to yourself, they become an enemy. This is very much seen in the political hemisphere. People become labelled and their beliefs become their personality. But just like in Arrival through Louise, it isn't fair to just assume and put someone in a pigeonhole. We need to understand why someone believes what they think. That doesn't mean you have to agree, but you have to make an effort to understand and get the full picture. Not to judge on face value, because sometimes face value when it is an unknown can be scary. So, I go back to the question the movie puts across to the characters. Do the heptopods mean weapon or tool? That's for us to learn and try to understand.